Once again, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy. Subject: Community Health Nursing Mnemonics. Topic for the day is Community Health Nursing Approaches or Approaches in Community Health Nursing. There are various approaches to render community health nursing services to the public. The approaches are mainly classified into four main heading: Epidemiological Approach, Problem Solving Approach. evidence based approach and others let us discuss in detail what is this approach first is epidemiological approach according to john m last 1988 epidemiology is a study of distribution and determinants of health related states or events in a specified populations and application of this study to the control of health problems so this epidemiology applied in to render the community health nursing services to the people epidemiological approach includes asking questions and making comparisons asking questions related to health problems in their areas and asking questions related to health services available in the community making comparisons means to know where the community stands and to know how to improve the situations to tackle the particular problem asking questions related to health problems or health events they we can use six w's so uh, what is the health event what is the magnitude where it did occur when did it occur who were affected or who are the people suffering from this problem and why did it happen the etiology causes so asking questions related to health problems or events can be asked through six w's so second asking questions about health actions or measures which have been taken in the community what can be done to reduce the problem how it can be prevented in future what action can be taken at present to reduce the incidence and what measures are required further measures are required and what difficulty may arise during the time of taking activities all this thing could be find before in asking questions about the health actions and health measures second approach is problem solving approach community health nursing services can be rendered by problem solving approach according to burns and group the definition of problem solving is the systematic identification of a problem determination of goals relating to the problem identification of possible approaches to achieve these goals implementation of selected approaches and evaluation of the goal achievement the so first we assess the health problems of the community through community identification by conducting mass screening we could identify the community problems then solving the problems by using application of community health nursing process problem solving process includes problem definition problem analysis generating possible solutions analyzing the solutions selecting the best solutions implementing the solutions and evaluation of the solutions or implementation and revision so it's a cycle that continues to solve all the problems of the community through problem solving approach the next approach is evidence based approach eba evidence based approach is the intervention that are based on the best available scientific evidence or best available evidence application of best available evidence to improve the practice or to make a best practices in the community the source of evidence are research studies evidence from community oriented nursing experience and expertise and evidence from community leaders the six a's of evidence based practice is ask acquire appraise analyze apply audit or assess the six a's of evidence based practice are ask acquire appraise analyze apply audit or assess evidence based practice helps to provide a quality standardized and cost effective services the next is others other approaches in community health nursing i have been made a mnemonics here approach in community risk time approach in community risk time there is a changes you have to notify that in approach there is no a and instead of o i have been made another one letter and say o will be the second letter so let us expand this mnemonic a stands for assessment of community need for the mnemonic purpose i have been written assessment of community need actually community need assessment 
P stands for primary health care approach. Another P stands for, the second P stands for persuasive approach. R stands for RCH approach. O stands for holistic approach. Here I have been made a change. H and O. Actually we go holistic. So holistic approach. C stands for comprehensive health care approach. H stands for health for all approach. IN stands for integrated approach. Community stands for community involvement approach. RISK stands for risk approach. T stands for team approach. I stands for ICDS approach. M stands for multi-sectoral approach. And E stands for enforcement approach. Let us move in detail in all the uh, other approaches in community health nursing. So, the are assessment of community need approach, primary health care approach, persuasive approach, RCH approach, holistic approach, comprehensive health care approach, health for all approach, integrated approach, community involvement or participation approach, risk approach, team approach, ICDS approach, multi-sectoral approach and last one is enforcement approach. Let us discuss one by one. First one is assessment of community need approach or community need assessment approach. So first we have to identify the community needs through participatory approach. Participating the community members to identify the their important problems. That is assessment of community need. First we will assess the needs then through the participatory approach. Then we will apply the nursing process to solve the problems of the community. Second approach is primary health care approach. So, rendering community health nursing services in the community through following primary health care approach. That means following the principles of primary health care. There are mainly five principles. I have made a simple mnemonic that is EC map. E stands for equitable distribution. C stands for community participation. M stands for multi-sectoral approach or intersectoral coordination. A stands for appropriate technology and uh, last P stands for prevention focus or focus on prevention. And there are one other principle that is manpower development. The third approach is persuasive approach. The term persuasive means convincing or motivating. So convincing or motivating people through dialogue and educating the people to change or modify their health behavior or health practices or healthy practices. Uh, through health education we can uh, develop the self-care competency among the uh, individuals, families and community, then we can motivate them to maintaining and promoting their health by themselves. The fourth approach is RCH approach, reproductive and child health approach. This is a package of services, 2005 Government of India uh, started a national rural health mission program, the NCH program were replaced by RCH services that is reproductive child health services. There are two phases, uh, the RCH phase 1, 1997 it started and the second, uh, second phase started in 2005. Usha and Asha worker, Usha in urban area, Asha in the rural area, Asha is accredited social health activist, uh, provide the RCH services at the peripheral area, in the rural area. The fifth approach is the holistic approach. Holistic approach is a combination of biomedical, ecological and psychosocial health. That is a concept of health. The present concept of health is holistic concept. So, here emphasis given on promotion and protection of the people. Promotion and protection of the community. Through holistic approach, we can make a sound mind in a sound body, in a sound family, in a sound environment. The sixth approach is comprehensive health care approach. Rendering comprehensive health care in the community. So, comprehensive health care includes physical, mental, social, spiritual, emotional, vocational and others which includes philosophical, cultural, socio-economic, environmental, educational, nutritional, etc. So, here concentrating all the areas of uh, dimensions of health that is comprehensive health care. The next concept is health for all approach. In 1977, 30th World Health Assembly voted a plan that was Health for All by 2008. And followed by in 1978 at Alma Ata Conference and Alma Ata Declaration uh, declared that primary health care is the universal health care to achieve the goal of Health for All by 2080. There are set goals for Health for All by 2080. 
and every 10 year this goals are modified and the new goals are uh, planned new targets are set to achieve after a particular 10 years so hfa 2010 ad is planned this approach still continues with the every 10 years so rendering health services based on the health for all approach next is integrated approach the application of integrated health services in the community setting it includes preventive services promotive services curative services restorative services and rehabilitative services NANS approach is through community involvement or through community participations so this is the one of the principle of the uh, primary health care health is not only the right but also is the responsibility of the individual to take care of their own health and the community at large so though it is the responsibility of the government at the same time it is the responsibility of the individual himself so to take care of his own health and the a community at large that means community participation means it is based on the principle of for the people and the, by the people or placing the people's health in people's hands the local community participation will be included in each steps of the community process that is during assessment planning implementation we involve the community members moreover maximum reliance is given on local locally available resources such as man money material to render the community health nursing services to the particular community in addition to that uh, selection of voluntary health workers uh, such as village health guides and trained dice even ASHA under NRHM etc will be uh, selected from the same local village and will be given the training program. The next is risk approach. This is another approach in community health nursing. We identify the special vulnerable or high risk cases in the community and given a special uh, attention and a special, uh, special focus and a special services. The high risk group includes uh, mothers and children under 5 years uh, and even old age, geriatric people. So, special package of services are available to be concentrating only that particular uh, vulnerable or high risk cases. The 11th one is team approach. The team approach is very essential to deal with the varied and complex health needs and problems of the people at a large in a wide community. And there is a collaborative intervention. So in team approach, we have a collaborative intervention. So, community has got a community health team to render the community services in the community. It includes a traditional birth attendant, Anganwadi worker, village health guide, Asha or Usha worker, health worker female and male, health assistant female and male, community health nurse or nurse midwife, medical officer as the team leader, then district public health nurse, district public health nurse officer or district public health nurse supervisor or public health nurse supervisor. All are the part of the community health team. So rendering the community services with a team approach. The 12th approach is ICDS approach, Integrated Child Development Scheme approach. It is launched in 1975. The beneficiaries under this approach are children below 6 years, pregnant and lactating mothers, women between 14 to 15 years, that is adolescents, and the services provided by Anganwadi worker through Anganwadi. The package of services includes supplementary nutrition, then uh, immunization, health checker, referral services, nutrition and health education services and non-formal education services to the children. Next is intersectoral approach or multi-sectoral approach. This is also one of the principle of primary health care. That means health cannot be given by health sector alone. It needs a cooperation, coordination and participation and collaboration with the other health related sectors to provide the comprehensive health care to the community. Other health related sectors include food and agriculture, animal husbandry, housing, water supply, sanitation, public work, communication, education, social and women's welfare, panjayat, industry, cooperatives and banks and transportation. Last approach is enforcement approach. So use of more coercive measures, powerful measures such as use of legislation, public health laws, public health acts. We have a lot of public health uh, acts or laws like prohibition of drug abuse, child abuse, food adulteration act etc. Every act is uh, concentrating to control the healthy practice among the community people or to guide the community people to do the healthy practices thus to prevent the number of problems. So that approach is called as enforcement approach. Thanks for watching. Hope this video really benefits in your studies.
If you feel it's worth, please subscribe, share and like. And please press the bell icon, select all so that you will get immediate notification of all my videos.